I realized that IQ gets you only to a certain level. You have to add EQ, technology quotient, and EQ, emotional quotient. Wow. The challenge with AI is AI will change the way we work, the way we yeah. live, the way we operate. Amen. So if I can't avoid it, I want to drive it. I also realized I have to take our people along. If I don't train our people, they will fall behind. I think okay. my background helps to provide structure, to understand the importance of processes, mm -hmm. and also to focus on the outcome. In the end, we need customers. From the startup world, I learned that speed is critical, even much more than in big organizations, and that not everything has to be 100% perfect. Let's start with 80%, launch it, and improve. Then mm -hmm. we see where AI is benefiting us. We automated invoice processing to our customers, and that was minutes instead of days or months. Of course. And with 96% accuracy, we saved headcount. Oh, to more strategic activities than tactical mundane activities. We don't leverage AI to the best degree. According to Gardner, we should leverage AI use cases for um, productivity gains, okay. revenue gains, and disrupting of the market. Okay. And they came up with a 60, 30, 10% ratio. Okay. And they also found out that in reality, most companies focus 80, 90% on productivity, not mm -hmm. much on revenue, and not on disrupting the market. So we are a little bit limited, short-sighted in what we do with AI. So there's much more opportunity, much more possibilities. AI is a tool. Okay. So we have to look at the one side doesn't fit all when you mention different companies. If you look at Sheen, they have a really good demand forecasting tool. Okay. Because it's their business. If you look at Toyota, they have a really good call center system set up. In the end, for me, AI projects fail A, because of management, B, because of data, C, because of employees.